today we will talk about how we can read or manage different environments in a CDK project. Uh, there are several approach that we can take and I will talk about all of those. So in, in total there are three approaches that I have used most in my uh, practical uh, CDK projects. The first and the easiest way to maintain multiple environments maintaining multi multiple environment means you have one set of configuration for your developer account uh, or developer environment and you have another set of configuration for your production environment right so in those cases uh, what we need to do is first we will create a file called ctk.context.json and this is a this will be a json file json configuration file and uh, we can uh, let's say create two keys one is for the dev and another one is prod and we can uh, add the appropriate values for dev and prod environment uh, that you can like for example you can add additional values for example you want to change the aws lambda configuration uh, based on the environment right some value or something like that so you can add that to your dev and prod as well with different values so that's the idea so this is the first thing to do you, you can create a cdk.context.json file and you will uh, have your environment specific values here and how do you read that those values i have created a separate uh, special config reader file or config reader function uh, you have to this app is our actual cdk app that comes from this uh, root file this uh, new app and uh, we can use this particular function to read the context values you can see that i am trying to read the environment name environment name in my case is dev and prod so if i pass down dev it will read the dev configurations and if i pass down prod it will read the prod configurations so now this is one way of doing things and this is useful if you already know which values goes to dev and goes to prod right but things are not so easy sometimes there are some difficulties and let me share one such scenario with you so uh, we had one particular instance where we had a particular vpc and uh, we had to use that vpc's um, id or arn in a separate stack right so how do we do that what we did is when we created let me show you the stack it will be easier for me to explain so when we created that vpc we stored that vpc id in an ssm parameter store right with a parameter name like this uh, what why do we did this could we do it with context yes if we read the ssm uh, if we read the vpc id manually and store it in the context it will work but if we need to redeploy this vpc stack let's say i destroy and create again the vpc stack the vpc id will change right in that case i have I have to go again to the um, context file and change that vpc id which is not convenient so that's why what we did is we uh, created a ssm parameter store which stored that particular vpc id and uh, inside this function we are creating let's say what what was the name we used this parameter name and inside this load build config I can just pass this parameter name and I have created a separate function uh, this is a very straightforward function and all the codes will be in the description as well for you to see so this function reads a bunch of SSM parameter names so that's easy and here you have to pass the region name as well so it's a very configurable file so this is the second way of uh, sharing multiple values in between multiple stacks or multiple environments and there is another way uh, for example if you need to store some sensitive values for example you need to store the your rds password and uh, whenever you are creating the stacks you need that rds password for some reason uh, in that case you can create a secret in the let's say you have an rds stack and you create a secret uh, manager you create an entry in the secret manager and update the password there and inside your CDK app you can get that secret as well and read it and use it inside your values this way because you don't want to share your secrets inside the context file right and also not in the SSM parameter store because it is not that secure so in those cases you can create store the secret and read the secrets here so that's it uh, this is how I usually use 
uh, multiple environments and uh, these are the multiple ways I uh, use to manage variables across different environments uh, yeah all the codes will be in the description and in these videos I'm just trying to share my ideas not uh, so that's why I'm not showing you the deployment and everything because I, I assume you already know that thanks for watching